uh, December 12th, Thursday, headed to Henry's Lake again. Um, should be a good trip. I'm gonna stay here till Monday. Coming driving back Tuesday. Um, hopefully we'll get into some fish and have some good times with my buddies. We've got a lot of buddies coming up. This is our fifth annual trip. And uh, just cruising down the highway. About a half hour off. And uh, got a little whaling jennings going on the disco. Life's good, life's good, here we roll. Pretty dicey roads. So, just put a put a hole, uh, put a lure in the water and got a fish right away. See if we can catch this on film. I'm not really set up with the camera yet. So my apologies. Oh yeah, nice little cutty. Pardon the filming, guys. Well, that didn't take long. That took like about 30 seconds when we had him on. So, it's gonna be a good day. Yeah, number two. Oh, missed him. Got him. Got him on a Dear Liza. That was a long time coming. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. Um, got a few fish on the ice, nothing major though. I'm gonna pack stuff up and start scratch in the morning, start something different, start fresh. So it's uh, Friday and uh, I'm just gonna give it another shot. Had to get my buddies all helped with the snowmobiles and I'm gonna go grab a worm and see if I can tip my jibs with worms they're coming up and sniffing but they're not committing to it so we'll give them a little meat on the on the hook and see if that doesn't help them got one gal fish yeah buddy nice cutty good deal got worms all over him must be riding the bottom pretty good searching out for food good deal So it just broke my line, but that's what they're taking. One of our old jigs from last year. So, not bad. We'll take it. hit a different spot got the sled lo loaded up and uh, we'll hit a different spot here and see what happens come on baby getting them close come on come on oh keep missing him I just don't think he's deep eating it there we go Oh, there's some big fish out here. Ooh. Skyler!
Thank you. He's been pulling some good drag. Yeah. This is a good one. You don't want to take my snowmobile. Oh, no. You're more than welcome. Oh, thank you very much. But I'll... A little more. Oh. Got a hog, huh? He's, he's not bad. Yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, he's a nice fish. Oh, oh, yeah. oh no. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, no. Good release. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice, buddy. Thank you. I'm going to call that a catch. That's right. That felt good. That felt good. That felt, felt, good. Half out of the hole. That felt good. <laughs> Help me land this one. Nice. Yeah, no problem. Hey, you didn't help. We got a jaw jacker popped. See if we still got him. Oh yeah. It's all about. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> Thank you anyway. <laughs> Little cutthroat. Little cutty. He's a squirmer. <laughs> oh boy. Settle down. There we go. Not much, but on a day like today, we'll take it. It's pretty rough today, just like my haircut. I mean, they'll come sniff you and look at it, nothing. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. So it's Saturday morning and uh, we just got one on the ice. Um, hopefully we'll have a good day today. Afton, my niece should be up here with her husband. So just had one on the dead stick. Woo! Quick release. <laughs> he came out and showed his face and then he was gone. Sorry you missed it. <laughs> so, let's see if we can keep him on the line. Cutthroat from uh, Henry's Lake. So we just got one on my camera. Nice fish. Nice cut, bro. Nice fish. Ha ha, sweet. <laughs> I was laying in my sled taking a nap. Sweet. Yeah, I was laying in the back of my tent taking a nap. The bells of Christmas were ringing. <laughs> that was just a little glow in the dark jizzy bug. Tipped it with a wax worm. So. Silver fish smile, Ryan. Thank you. And then one over here. He's going in reverse, right? <laughs> I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah, good man. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. Doesn't get any cleaner than that. Okay, now that one can go right there. Go 
over where my tip is. Yep. Right there? Yep. Going forward this time. Forward. I'll just go ahead and do it in reverse and I'll take the slush from there. You don't like my method? Oh, you're fine. Yeah, go ahead and do your method. I love your method. I just needed some of that slush over in that corner. Thank you. And if you would be so kind, I'd take three in a row where I can see them. You're a great American. One, two, three. One, right. Well, go right in that uh, clear spot. Yep. Perfect. I'm excited. Something different, you know? They're always pretty over here. Okay. Hey guys. So we just got that on a jacker. Nice fish, beautiful fish. We finally got a cokey out of here. <laughs> Kokanee salmon. I've seen a few online this year. Nice little hook jaw. Nice. Love it. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys what these trout are feeding on. That's a sculpin. They're you find them in rivers and streams and lakes all around the Rocky Mountains, and that's what those suckers feed on. So, just wanted to document that. If you want to match the hatch sometime, there you go. So Saturday morning, and uh, we might have a double. We'll see. That one over there doesn't look like it's ready. Maybe Brandon will reset it for me. Oh, I might have lost both of them. <laughs> well, we had a double for a minute there. Yeah, it's not on anymore. Is it still got bait? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Cool. Well, I can now you can fish for me. Okay. So you take that. Yeah. Put it on that. That was a good double. All right. So Saturday morning, nice and chilly out. Yeah, nice job, Brandon. Brandon's got four on the ice, and uh, it's gonna be a good day. We're in the kiddie pool today. Three feet of water. They are not staying on. We're getting bit, but they're not staying on. Still got our bait. We'll go ahead and set that again. I might have to, uh, what do you mean what do I got on? That's a secret. I'm just using little jigs and mealies and waxies. Got our setup in here. Got a couple holes there. Been watching movies this trip on the phone. Being charged by that. Oh, there we go. That stupid thing. Yeah, I'm going to re readjust that. 
I'm gonna readjust that. I might just hang out here for a minute. That's a pretty hot hole. I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. Stiffen that rod up. The rod doesn't like it. Nice little cutty, huh? Yeah. Would you show the fish off already? I'm... My goodness. We're only three feet of water, it don't tire them out. It's only like... Oh yeah. Love them and leave them. The mighty hunter. Sweet. Good Sweet. job, bud. Okay, so we're back at the hole here. Got a mealworm on there. Last one was a wax worm we caught him. We'll get this baby set again. We're at the identical depth. Because we didn't even use our reel. We're that shallow. So good morning. Sun's gonna come out and melt off this fog. And uh things will be good again. So yeah, we got the otter lodge this trip. Got the, the old Polaris wide track. This otter box. It's got a rod holder, five gallon bucket holder. You can store about anything in there you want. And uh, Brandon says we got a double. <laughs> Go ahead and take one, baby. Uh, I'll get that one. Hey, I'm going to have Brandon pop us a couple more holes there. My goodness. Same place, same channel. Nice. You know, it's pretty rough life. To think I almost slept in today. Oh, that's a nice, pretty, pretty cutthroat. Yeah. You might grab my forceps out of my tent. Yeah. Then I won't be bugging you anymore. That's a nice, beautiful, beautiful Henry's Lake cut. Not the size we were looking for, but it's all right. Thank you, Brandon. No problem. Good Sherpa. Boom. Well, we'll go get some more bait. So let's do this again. See if I see if we can catch one right away. In the meantime, I'm gonna drill a couple other holes right next to this hole. They go in schools. So a lot of people like to diversify. But a man I read once, Dale Carnegie said put all your eggs in one basket and watch that basket and that is why <laughs> oh man so yeah we just drilled a couple more holes and we're crowding these crowding this little little tiny tiny area so we'll reset this Kind of watch it for a minute. This is a hot hole. So I'm gonna drill one more hole. I already did, never mind. I'm gonna move that other jacker over there. Got him. Good job, Brandon. Let's go check out Brandon's catch. Little weight to him. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Good morning. Now what are you cooking me for breakfast? I had some quiche. Quiche? Oh, well. I wonder if I'll stick with Kit Kats. <laughs> All right, man. There's Ryan pulling in. He's a good boy. Good job, Brandon. So Ryan just stood over there, <clears throat> nailed him one. Go check it out. <clears throat> Ryan, what's the secret to your success? Oh, emulating my cousin Joe. Emulating your cousin Joe, okay. Well, grandma's praying for you then. Oh. <laughs> Good job, lazy boy. Thank you. Now he's used to having us unbait his hooks and rebait them and set the stuff up. <laughs> That's but why I'm a little slow this morning. We're gonna see if he's learned how to do it after watching the hundredth time. He really hasn't really done much this trip. He's yet to cook me breakfast even. 
Nice job, Ryan. Sorry, I'm on. I got another call, phone call on another line, Ryan. Sorry. Hey, stand up, GoPro. There we go. All right, these jaw jackers, you want to get them the heck away from the hole because you don't want that trigger mechanism freezing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm prepared this time, Brandon. Nice job. Good scout. Well, it's a good scout. And see, the, mo the biggest trick to doing this is keeping your old worm. Heaven forbid you have to use no another worm. Oh, yeah. Anyways, just a little dink. And we saved the worm. So. Well, that was a hole we just drilled. And uh, paid off dividends. Dale Carnegie was right. Put all your eggs in one basket and watch that basket. <laughs> you can learn a lot from a dummy. The dummy's me, Dale. No offense. All right, time for new forceps. I better give these to Ryan. Did you get that released okay, Ryan? That was a challenge. Okay. Onward and upward. So it looks like Ryan got him another one. Good job, Ryan. Thank you, sir. Now, I gotta go tie a new hook on. So, Brandon just caught him a kokanee salmon. Second one of the trip. And uh, Ryan just got him another one. I'm just rebaiting. So here comes Brandon with his uh, kokanee salmon that he caught. And uh, that's good stuff. Oh, I just had one pop again. Oh, I got one. Fetch, fetch, fetch. Show us your salmon, Ryan. We got a triple? Right here. Oh, God. Okay. Nice, nice. I can't get your camera working, sorry. You're good. Um, drop it. You're good. Okay, we were just having fun. You got another one, Ryan? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here, give me that. Here. I'll get it. Here. You're good. Oh, yeah, these pink rods. We call them the Barbie rods. I like them. Oh, no. Shoot. Anyways, actually, it might be a Utah company. Colville, Utah, I think. So... Christensen's Lakeshore Tackle Company, baby. That's the only rod to use for a jaw jacker. So, and it's, the guys mock you the whole time, but when you're out fishing them, that shuts up pretty quick. Just that quick, Ryan got another one. <laughs> We're gonna have to put some palm trees in this video. <laughs> nice job, boys. I'm telling you folks, we cannot keep up. Ryan's got one. I just got one. Holy crap, holy. This is good stuff. You know, this is good stuff. I haven't even brushed my teeth yet. Oh man, maybe I better not. Oh, it's tripped by break. Come on, pup. Nice cutty. Nothing huge. So this is the one we just barely put on. Little glow in the dark. 30 second ounce jig. You know, every time I put my mouth, I'm fingers in a cutthroat's mouth, I think better of it real quick. So there's the cutty. And there's the little jig we're using. Nothing fancy, just put a little wax worm, mealworm on that. Yeah, baby. 
So Ryan just got one. And then my my jacker popped. I'll tell you, that's a hot hole right there. Good job, Ryan. So I'm gonna go out and start jigging with Ryan here in a minute. But first things first, I gotta brush my teeth. So that's a guaranteed way to catch a fish is brush your teeth. Right in the middle of it, you'll get one popping. So there we go. Got one on the closest rod. Hopefully we can keep him on. catching fish guys my apologies oh there's another one go grab a word Just like that, we're fishing again. Brandon's on to one. Fat boy's sitting in his tent, staying warm. We were just talking about when we're gonna leave because it slowed down for five minutes and we're ready to move. We're not that... ready to move yet. <laughs> so, he's got some weight to him, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. You're making him look like it. Always look big down the hole when you get them out. Yeah, that water magnifies them pretty good. He is pushing water up the hole pretty good though. Yeah, it's a beauty, beautiful average cut. Come on, Brandon. Job. Nice job. You Comes. Got your heater going, Joe? Yeah. Mine. Thawing out your wrench. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it on the heater. Right, right in the flame. So Brandon got him another one. Did you jig him up, Brandon? Yeah. Good job. Seems like the fish have moved out a little bit closer to the tents now. There we go. That's a nicer fish. Yeah. I think you might have fixed the wrench, Joe. Nice. Got all the water out of the wrench? Yeah. When it's boiling, when I <laughs> touch my finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you ask a scout to do something for you, it's gonna be done right. So Brandon's on it again. That's a hot hole. He's got some shoulders on that one. Sweet. Oh, there's my jacker just popped. Same <laughs> us. Hey, got a double, got a double. Got a double. We like doubles. Yeah, we'll get this one first. Yeah, we like doubles. <laughs> Got another jack right here. Oh, I lost him. Yeah. Go, bro, start recording. <laughs> it's already there, baby. Woo! <laughs> Wish I'd have got that double. Double trouble. I just barely zipped up my tent and figured out oh, if I get a jacker, they'll probably let me know. Got two of them right away. <laughs> I got Ryan trained, he threw the worms right to me. Good boy, Ryan. Good boy. No, this is a... Ryan's got one. Does he? <laughs> Sweet. Not fun. Funny here, we're just talking about leaving this place and then they turn on again. All right, double. Nice, Brandon got him one too. So Ryan got him another one. He wanted to come through the hole sideways. Did he? He got quite a. Oh, oh. 
Quite a little bit of ice on your line there, Ryan. Oh yeah, it's great. Nice fish. He's a beauty. All right, well, <laughs> All right. for keeping him. Yeah. Fumble! <laughs> okay, well, we'll get this one set up again. We'll wait for it to pop. There's a little pink jig with a mealworm on it. Nothing fancy, but it does the job. Holy crap, that thing's a hammer in it. Holy smokes. Woo! I mean, that's violent. Whoa. So that's that pink we just tied on. Huh. Not bad. Nice job, Joe. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, he just popped another one. I think we need to move. Yeah, I guess we better go to a different spot, guys. Okay. Oh man, probably the same dang fish. That's that little glow jig. Catching them. All right, we got a triple, boys. Nice job, Brandon. Brandon got another one. Boy, we are. Oh, do I need to tape on that? Bending guy? these hooks. So Brandon got him another one. Good job, Brandon. Yeah. Just having a fun day. Oh yeah, it was a blast. I got two rods now. I got to go put bait on. Maybe even tie new hooks on because I'm bending the hooks so bad. So Brandon was just talking to us and talking about how sometimes he'll just be jigging and the line will move to the side of the hole and. Right as soon as he said it, the line moved to the side of the hole and he started laughing and set the hook. There we go, Brandon! This is your average oh, gonna spill your millions. Yep, nice job. So we went out in the middle of the lake and uh, we're in about 17 feet of water. I've never fished this deep on Henry's before, but we're gonna catch some fish here. In fact, I got one chasing me. Right. Come on, take it. There we go, got him. Let's move the camera around. Let's show you how. Fifteen feet, still on a weed line. Wassie got hooked up. Woo, nice brookie. Beautiful brookie. Sorry about the tight quarters with the filming. Always love it. Beautiful, beautiful brook trout. Not very long, but nice and thick. Beautiful colors on him. No pro, stop recording. And I got my Ryan's playing with us. So that's what we caught him on. A little pink. Just missed one, folks. Come on, fish. Got him. Ah, lost him at the hole. One at 12 and one at 16. Got him. Got him. Sucker. A job. Nice. As we know, as everybody knows, I love those babies. Little flaming gorge bait. Sweet. Flaming gorge bait company. Yeah. Fighting transducers, I tell you, sucks.
Another brook. Where are you finding them, bro? That was right on bottom. Oh, man. He's a three pounder. He's not very long, but man, they're so heavy. Taking a little pink jig. With a dear Liza. That'll bug does a little better job getting out of the bottom than the rat pinchy. So there we go. And we'll show you what we're using there. Boom. So we got Luke here. I just complained about my transducer getting in the way and he he overheard me and brought his beautiful little drill, a little four inch bugger, three inch even almost. So we're gonna pop a hole for the deucer. Thanks, Luke. No worries, bud. Thank you very much. Thanks again. That was my headache of the day right there. I hate transducer cables. God, here I am just drilling a hole so that Brandon can see his lure yeah. on the fish finder and he's just bitching because I got a little bit of floss next to him. Oh, these kids these days, I tell you, it's like a snowflake generation. It's a snowflake world we live in. Middle of the summer and there's still snowflakes. Got him. to know we're catching fish. He's running out of patience already. <laughs> nice study. And there's some different cuts on him. Not a hybrid, it's probably a straight cut. So I got it on the dead stick there. The bell. The bells of Christmas were ringing. Uh, oh, I better loosen the drag on this one. Another brookie. What the fuck? I'm telling you, you guys need to put those paddle bugs away and start fishing this homemade stuff that I make. That store bought crap. Get your store bought results. That was on a blackhead with a glow jizzy bug. Haha. <laughs> I am loving that hole for the transducer. I will do that again. Okay, I'm trying to bait this other rod. And we got another one. So, I'll tell you what. Ooh. He's a running gun. I'm going to set this rod down real quick and bait this and get rid of it. Whoa, he's gonna take that out of the bucket there. Stay tuned. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. Sorry for the delay. Oh, that's a nice fish. Then I'll kick that. Reel it up. One, two, three. Okay, three turns. Put our fish glove on. That's a healthy fish. <laughs> Things trashed, but that's all it's taking it. Boom. What color, Joe? Uh, straight pink, and then one of them is a black head with glow, jizzy bugs. One of them's a straight pink deer lizer or whatever it is. They're coming through at 14. Headed your way. What's that? They're headed your way. We're hunting, fishing, loving every day. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Mercury. We're lit up, boys. Got him. <laughs> There's a bunch down there. Well, these are all healthy fish, too. Heck of a spot. That's another straight cutty. Hey, he released himself. Good job, bud. Not bad. I have to get some more plastic and a couple more worms and go back down. So I'm eating a taco. Hey, oh shoot, missed him. Man. That was fun. Got my jaw jacker jigging for me here. Eating a taco. And I had a fish. There he is again. See, he's chasing me. You got one? Yeah. Good deal, Brandon just got one. He caught the one we, we missed. Good deal. <laughs> There we go. Did I get him? Nope, missed him. Son of a gun. They're coming through, boys. Got one on the dead stick again. They're pretty unruly. Got him on a big green jig. Oh boy. On a dead stick. Dead stick huh? Yeah, great big green jig. Mm -hmm. Something we'd use at Flaming Gorge. Not a bad little fish. <laughs> we'll get that rebated and do her to her. There we go, got him. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh man. He's not happy. He's not happy, boys. 
<laughs> just a dink, but he's a fighter. There is just normal cuts out here. They're not the hybrids. Broke me off. Got him. Left-handed hook set there, boys. <laughs> Woo! Woo! He's stripping me. Oh, man. He might be a big one. He's stripping me. You know? Yeah, I do. He's got both my lines tied up. Not a huge one, but he's got some shoulders on him. Yeah, he does. What do you need? I'd have you grab him for me. You're young. Thank you so much. No problem. Awesome. Hey, where'd everyone go? <laughs> yeah, they're our, our crew left us, huh? And I'm telling you now the fish is picking up. Woo! He's a hefty fish. Come on, baby. Well, you've left me a mess, haven't you? Nice fish. Oh yeah. Well, there he goes. I guess I will tie some new lures on. <laughs> Who knows where that other one is? It's just a mess I've got here. Hey, there's a ton of fish! At 15 feet, there's five fish I'm seeing. 15, 16. I'm, they're stacked. Well, there was five fish individuals there. And I didn't get one of them to chase me. I'm still thin three fish right now. There we go. There we go. Woo! Doesn't feel very big, but there are there schools, whatever it is. That's yeah, just your normal cutty. But they were schooled up, buddy. The proof is in the slapping of the fish, man. Hey, you let himself go. See you later, dude. <laughs> okay, there's one right on bottom, boys. <laughs> and there's one on bottom. Woo! Woo, he came up tail first and swam back down. Okay, there's one at 13, 15. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. We're not seeing anything. Really? They are liking the pink. Okay. Okay. There's a cutty. He's a little rambunctious one. That one was. We're fishing late into the night tonight. We're going to leave our tents out in the deep tonight. Ride the snowmobile, we're about two miles out from shore. And we're gonna ride the snowmobile out tomorrow morning and hopefully hit this place in the morning and see what it looks like. Dig stick got hit. Another cutty. So Ryan and I and Brandon are side by side. His tent's right behind mine. We pulled up behind the snowmobile. 
because his four-wheeler couldn't make it out in this snow. And uh, one thing we like to do is, uh, <laughs> well, you dirty bugger. One thing we like to do is uh, help each other um, with the fish finders. Tell, us, tell each other where the fish are, what we're seeing. It's kind of fun. I had to tease him up and he chased it on the follow up and took it. We've had some real light biters the last half hour or so. <laughs> nice cutties. Got into the bush for a little bit. He's a runner gunner. He must be three pounds, anyways, if he's running like that. Of course, I did miss him. Okay. Oh, no, he's just a two pounder. Two and a half, maybe. Good. All right, that's a nice cutty. They're turning on now, boys. Woo! Missed him. Woo! I'm telling you, that's how you catch them, Ryan. Woo! Yeah, doggy. It's, they can't resist it on the way up. <laughs> oh man, those guys are missing out tonight. This place is stacked. Nice fish. <laughs> well, bent my hook all the heck. Got me tangled, tangled. But we're just gonna throw just a bare melee on this baby and go for it. Ooh, that hook's getting pretty weak. Oh well. We'll get her done. Oh man. That was the dead stick. Yeah, he released himself. That's good. Alright. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Oh, this is unreal, man. Oh, my. Come on, buddy. Another nice cutty. Hey, 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 hey. Nice cutty. Woo, doggy. I had to work for that one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's got some weight to him. Oh, listen to that drag. I hope I land this one. Oh yeah. That's a three and a half, four pounder there. Four pound fish on four pound line. Nice fish. Wow, that's a heavy fish. That might be like five pounds, six pounds maybe. Excellent. We are just destroying this hook. Oh, looks like I need to retie. Broke me off. So the dead stick got her that time. Oh, see if we can hang on to it. I don't know if I did. Not lost it. Some beach. So I think we're going to call it a night. We've had a good night. Everybody caught a lot of fish. And uh, we got about two miles back to the cabin. So we're in the middle of Timbuktu again this morning. 
and uh, we just drove out a couple miles onto the lake at the moon up in the sky. Our group headed out this morning and uh, we're just gonna check the fishing situation. Make sure we didn't leave any behind. It is Monday morning and uh, hopefully that little snowmobile over there will get us out of here. We're gonna have three men on it and two big sleds and tents and could be a little dicey. It's gonna be a good day. So we broke the ice this morning. That's all I need to catch this the whole day. I'm happy now. No trout left behind. Good Monday morning. Yeah, buddy. Good Monday morning indeed. Bend our hook back straight. Or curved or whatever you want to call it. So we can go to the next one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Fish on! I'll tell you, I had to work for that one. I just, boy, those holes have ice on them like you wouldn't believe. I've got the heater cranked too. Woo, he does not want to come up, guys. He's heard about this light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, honey. Oh, come on, bud. Hey, Brandon. Uncle Joe might need a hand. Oh, dude. Yeah, I need a hand, please. Oh, my goodness. Oh, jeez. Yes, I could get down there and get him, but you guys are so handy. Oh. Yeah. That's a pig. That's not bad, is it? Oh, that's a pig. I, those guys wanted pictures, so I guess we'll send them a picture, Ryan. I got bites. Oh, man, that's a pig. That's got to be seven, eight pounds. <laughs> Maybe. It's a, it's a gallon of milk, anyways. Let's put it that yeah. way. Here, let me do that. <laughs> Ryan's cheating. Okay, go where the window is not. Right there. <laughs> so where did you catch this fish, Ryan? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right on the weed line. <laughs> Here, let me get your you hook got me on now. YouTube being a... Yeah, I got you on YouTube being a scram. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it ought to make for some good video, I'm thinking. Oh! You don't have video rights to this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, got him on a, a pink deer Liza. Pink deer Liza. That was a good one. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. And if you would remember the rule, number one, put the deucer back in the water, please. Thank you very much, and it's been a pleasure, pleasure having you business with you. Having you frequent our establishment. <laughs> Thank you, sir. What would you call him? Twenty-one? I don't know how long he was, but he was heavy. Yeah. Yeah, he was heavy. <laughs> That'll get Matt and Gail. <laughs> Send that over to Matt right away. I will. Hey, I will. <laughs> Got him. Good deal. Kind of slowed down on us, but that's a dink, but we'll take it, man. Oh, that's got to be about 12 inches longer than the one Ryan caught. Since it's 12 inches long, right, Ryan? Go Got one on the way down. My jig stopped going down on the finder. 
and I thought it was ice, so I reeled up, and nope. It was another gallon of milk. Woo, it's a nice one. Nice brook trout. Nice brookie. Excelente, said Dora. Excelente. Now we'll straighten the hook out again and put some bait on. <laughs> I, de I debated whether to go fishing today, but I'm glad we did. Okay, man. Got one on the rod while I was packing my gear up. One for the road, one for the road. <laughs> one for the road. Okay. Nice little cutty. Good trip this day, good trip this, this year. To Henry's, I'd like to thank my buddies, all the all my friends that came, and we had a great trip. Um, hopefully, we'll get back to the truck safely, and uh, we'll just get ready for the next adventure. So, appreciate you guys watching. Oh, look at that! Maybe another one. No. Let's see. Oh yeah. Got another one. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. While well, I was recording. Oh. Oh, I'll tell you. This presidential's a pile of trash. It is all froze up. Ooh, that's got some weight to him. Just what I don't need is a reel that doesn't have good drag right now. I better loosen that. Or I'll lose him. Oh man, oh that line's not looking good on this reel. I better give it to him. He's got some loops that are out. Oh man, they're all messed up. Okay, yeah the grease on this presidential reel's not good right now. Hopefully he's still on. Okay, now we're not going to lose him from the line getting caught and tangled and having problems. Oh man, and that's a nice, nice fish. Nice brook trout, boys. Nice brook trout. Wow, what a, what a great fish to end a trip. What a fish. <laughs> oh thank you lord awesome and with that we'll call it a fishing trip thanks for watching so here we go we're ready to roll out of here hi brandon and ryan good trip guys good trip We are done officially. Hopefully nothing goes bad. We're gonna drop this trailer at Uncle Dan's house for Cascade. And uh, we'll just get on the road, Ryan's headed out. We're right behind him. So, Godspeed. 
So I thought it was kind of cold outside. Minus 10 on the dash. So yeah, there's a reason we couldn't stay warm in the tent today. This is good stuff, man, good stuff.